Lamadi Art, I think you were the first person in there. I have got a different setup. There's a fridge behind me, please. Ignore my fridge. Oh, there's Helen as well. Hello, Helen. Ruby Wright Lionel. Michael Wellers here. Go live. Drop that down. So, Alison and Trish and Betty's Pets. How are you all doing? Hello. Hello. How's it going? Yeah, good. How are you doing? I'm good. I have an extreme setup this evening. Where are you? I'm in the living room, but because we're having work done, it's just empty. So I've put the step ladders up and I've got, I'll show you, I've got all my tools <laughs> ready to go. Why, why have you got step ladders? <laughs> I don't know, actually. I feel like are you going to climb them during <laughs> art club? That would be amazing. No, it's just to hold my phone. So it could, oh, be high well, up. I thought maybe you were gonna like climb the ladder and throw paint down on a big sheet of paper. I should do that. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got? Uh, I am just at my. My bits of sponge and I've and some black poster paint. I ordered these this week. They're called acrylic gouache, which makes no sense to me because acrylic is plasticky and gouache is chalky. So what the hell are these? A uh, hybrid muggle child. I can't get my head around it, so I'll, I'll find out tonight. That's bizarre. I wonder if they'll dry like shiny and plasticky then. But then that's acrylic, no? Why are they called acrylic gouache? Hmm. Um, I can smell them because it, gouache has got a very distinct smell. No, they smell more like acrylic. They smell plasticky. It's very strange. Mm. Mm. You can review them for us. I will. Yes. I've mm. got, um, I brought some very fancy sponges, but there was an intervention <laughs> and apparently this sponge was too fancy. So I'm I've got one of those. Pi begged me to buy it in the supermarket. <laughs> oh, good. Do you stick your fingers in his eyes and then scrub? Never. <laughs> Is that what you're me? supposed to do? Apparently, it's ergonomic and you're supposed to put spoons in his mouth to like clean the spoons. I've done that. Yeah. <laughs> I was. <laughs> so, we had a compromise and I'm going to use the old dead one. Yes. And then leave the new one just for food. Right. Um, I've uh, just got all these bits, bits of cheap sponges that you get. Amazing. I might end up, I've got my scissors because I might end up cutting them. Also, there's that textured side and then there's the other side as well, isn't there? Yeah. Oh. I found a spare one of these. That's a fancy one. And this is an old one, so I chopped the green bit off. Ah. And I filled my paint. <gasps> what? Yeah. That's good. So gonna see what happens it's a bit soft. I think it might be amazing have you got really big sheet of paper yeah I brought my biggest paper with me so it's, it probably doesn't look that big actually this hey 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 brilliant yes. oh my paper's quite small I've just got little it's probably about it's probably a three I think oh, yeah little chopped up bits of sponge that'll be all right won't it yeah oh, oh there's Tanya hey Tanya. how acrylicy or how gouache Oh, That's the question. They we smell will... plasticky. They smell more acrylic. So I don't know why they say gouache on them. Very Weird, strange. huh? A new invention. Yeah. Have you got a drink today? I've got a cup of tea. Mm. I've got a cup of water. <laughs> Not a glass, a cup. Mm. <laughs> That's not like there's a cup. <laughs> so is your sitting room empty because you're getting um, a stove put in? Yes. Yeah, so, exciting. It's, we've got the radiator on full blast. I promise I wouldn't. Both Katie! <laughs> How dare you? you? It's like having Show off with your fancy radiator. 
My brain's like, don't say the heating's on, don't say the heating's on. The heating's on! <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Uh, we're still waiting. Our heating comes next week. It'll be so good. It'll be worth the wait. It will be better than it ever was, I really hope. Yeah. I put a thing on Instagram. Oh, you saw it because I tagged you in it saying, oh, no, we've got no heating and now we can't even go to the toilet because the drains are blocked. And I got so many messages that I had to put up another thing going, but we're all right. <laughs> <laughs> a shameless plea for sympathy. Yeah. We had, we were supposed to have the guy come and fix the drain. Hello. Ah, <gasps> Pai's just telling me she's edited her new Roblox video and she's really chuffed with it. <laughs> good work. Brilliant. <laughs> she's such a good editor, it's amazing. Editing um, as well. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so we were supposed to, the drain broke last night, it just stopped draining, so we couldn't run taps or flush the toilet or anything, it's been really horrible. And then, uh, so we had to wait till tomorrow for somebody to arrive, but he came tonight. We yeah. opened the door and went, what? You're early. And he said, oh, shall I go away and come back? I'm like dragging <laughs> him in the house. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Are yeah. like the toilet now? Yes, we yeah. can flush the toilet. <laughs> it's for granted, definitely. Yeah, it's luxury, isn't it? You get so used to those things. Not having heating and having no water or no toilet. It's terrible. Bad I'm thing. never going to take it for granted again. Oh. <laughs> also, we can't just nip to a neighbour's house because we're in lockdown, aren't we? You can't be going spreading your germs, peeing everywhere. <laughs> you have to be oh. Oh. But I brought some um, different things to draw as well. I've done lots of planning today, so I've got a with a plant growing out of it. It's like a pineapple in a swan. <laughs> oh, isn't it? And I've got some daffodils. Ah, oh. mm -hmm. And I've got a chicken as well. Brilliant. What have you got? I've got, well, I've got my elephant and I've got Pai's doll and I've got um, the yeah. sailor that you got me for Christmas. Yay! <laughs> Isn't he lovely? I love him. He's so good. So yeah, I'll stick those there. I've also got a spider plant up on the shelf there and some big jars with feathers in. So I'll see. Bit of everything. Bit of everything. With the carpet and don't worry, I have a dust sheet down because Cameron <laughs> was like, if you're going to be picking the sponges. <laughs> <laughs> He's very sensible. Very Can't sensible. mock your carpet off. <laughs> it's only beige. Be fine. <laughs> Ruby, oh, can I yeah. Do it? yeah. Oh. oh, I've already got paper. Should we do a drawing? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to what, see what you do with that big sheet of paper. Oh, the pressure. Should we do a really quick one? Should we go for a minute first? Yeah, let's do a minute one. I want to try out this. Okay, are you ready? Go. Ah. Ah, where should I go? Uh, I need to cut my sponge into little pieces. Oh, oh I'm not working quick enough. <laughs> Time's gonna be up. Yeah, it will. Are there rules about details? I don't know. But can you use a pen or ink or anything as well? I don't know. I don't know what the rules are, Katie. I haven't thought it through. Oh. I was going to sometimes drag my sponge if I want to make a line, maybe. So you could print with it and maybe drag with it. That's a good idea. I've just dragged it down to make those two lines there. Exciting. Add some. Ah. <laughs> there we are, time's up. Oh, it's my elephant. There we go. <laughs> Behold the chicken. Oh, look at you. Hey. Barber. 
Brilliant. <laughs> it's a bit watery in that one. Is that the sponge with the blue ink in the handle? Yeah. So I might have to try a different one. <laughs> okay. So our course starts next week. It does. I'm so excited. We open the doors. So like, there might be new people listening, looking, who don't know about what we do. So we, there are three of us, me, Katie and Tanya. Tanya is in the comments answering questions if anybody's got any questions. And um, so we meet here every Friday for Art Club. But also in the background, we run an online course called Find Your Creative Voice. And we launch next week at Art Club, don't we? We do. We open the doors at Art Club live. Um, and then we leave the doors open for one week. So then we close them at the next week's Art Club. So you have like one week to join. But yeah. if in the first weekend, we'll give you a bonus drawing party. It's very exciting. Yeah. Yeah. You get an early bird draw along if you sign up early. And it's, yeah, it's called Find Your Creative Voice. So it's kind of aimed at illustrators but it really isn't just for illustrators is it it's for anybody in the creative industries who feels like they either left art school and didn't know who they were yet or maybe didn't even go to art school but sort of maybe they work in a few different ways and they don't really know which is the right which is them yeah so this is to help you work out your 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 kind of true voice isn't it yeah like a way to to be yourself with your work without trying to like do a style or yeah which is really refreshing because then you can just make work and you don't have to worry about it yeah it's so true and people really recognize it when when you feel confidence in your work and that you've got you've got a kind of hang on what your voice is people can see that in the work can't they so it's really exciting finding that good well, yeah. people... helps you get... i didn't hear what you said but it helps people trust you like when yeah. they need to do work they know what they're gonna get and they kind of if you're yeah. yourself, it kind of comes across in your portfolio or your website or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, should we do another drawing? Yeah, Two that's... minutes. Well, that's a good question. Uh, Ilse van Hofvegen says, if you redo it, can you also join in the live calls? Yes, you can. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got lifetime membership. So if you've done it before... Because we're about to launch again, we're going to have all the live calls. Because once a week we do a live Zoom call with all of the people doing the course. So yeah, once you signed in, for for as long as we do these Zoom calls and we have no plan of stopping, you can just join in on every round. Yeah. Yeah. Lifetime. I hope we do see lots of people from the last round. So that'd be nice. Yeah, we usually see a few of them hanging around. People we'll jump back in. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Keep working on it and keep revealing new layers to your work and going deeper with it. So it's, yeah. Sally yeah. says it's a Especially, especially as loads of people have got kids homeschooling and stuff, they might have dug, dug into the course and only got so far and then had to do homeschooling. So that means they can just, you know, as soon as they get time again, they can revisit and join us the next time around. Yeah. A lot of people are the college. Yeah. Nice things. Thank you oh, there's that. Jane Sunbeam. It's always nice to have Jane Sunbeam in the Zoom calls. Oh. Yay. Okay, right. I've got the two minutes on my clock. Are you ready? Let's go. Go. Uh, yes, one, two, one. two minutes, is it? Two minutes. We've got one minute 45 now. Oh, no. I spent 15 seconds, not nothing. <laughs> <laughs> The sponge is quite hard to control. It makes a difference if they're too wet or too dry as well. I've yeah. noticed. This one I've got another piece. Oh. Huh? This one seems a bit dry. And my last one was too wet, so I'll get there again. <laughs> I've got a piece of paper beside me where I keep dabbing it to get rid of the excess water because mine seemed to be too wet. That it's acrylic gouache is quite runny. Yeah. <laughs>
Beautiful daffodils. Oh, lovely. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Have you fallen off the ladders? <laughs> yeah, I've fallen down. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go for a little climb? <laughs> oh, there we go. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Very lovely. <laughs> the extremist. Oh, look at this elephant. <laughs> I love him. Oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> I wanted to move the camera because it was like peering. That's all good. <laughs> People are saying lovely things and I was too far away to read it as well. <laughs> Amber says it's so challenging with the sponges. I agree. It is. It's hard to get any detail and you need the right... You, you don't want them to be too wet or too dry. I'm going to have a little shuffle around of stuff on my desk. Right, okay. I might cut one of my sponges into a more useful, like a bit more like a sort of organic shape because they're all squares. So all of my drawings have got square edges. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's better, look. Oh, so you made a round one? Made a round one. And that gives me a little bit for doing details as well. It's a good, good plan. Hmm. Destination Unknown <laughs> says that she missed the beginning. What are we supposed to do? Well, we're just dipping sponges in paint to try and draw something in front of us. It's not easy. Getting painty already. I was also thinking sometimes people think, oh, is the course just like art club, but loads of art club? And it's not, is it? Because we keep art club here for everyone. Yeah. We just run art club in the background all the time, but it's not the same as the course. Yeah, and the, the course is more like exploring your way of working and what makes you tick, but in an exciting, really in-depth way. Yeah, we really dig into all of your quirks. We try and find out what all of your weird things are and bring them out because that's what makes people interesting. That's where people's creative voices lie. And so, it, yeah, in the course, it's more about you finding out kind of all the stuff about you and your life that's in there and then using that as an influence on your work but not just digging into like the subjects of your work but how your work will look visually as well it's really exciting seeing the work people the, the journeys people got journeys that's such a cheesy word what's a better word for that? <laughs> yeah <laughs> cheesy is. some people have made such amazing progress though the things that they've done since doing the course it's just yeah. It's really inspiring. Um, they're good ship work to start a master's degree, haven't they? Yeah, and um, somebody was a runner-up for the picture hooks thing, and somebody whose name I'm not allowed to say, I'm not allowed to tell you yet, and I don't even know if I've told you, Katie. I think I have, but we have to keep it quiet because it's all under wraps. It's got the most amazing publishing deal after doing the good ship course, like a really, a really, really good one. It's a big one. I think I remember yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. But it's stolen to wrap. She's not telling anybody yet. So I, I, it's very difficult. I hate keeping secrets, but it's, yeah. She's very, very talented. And um, she's got a very exciting deal. So, so cool. We've, we've had lots of people go on to do amazing things. And we had, so um, Ralphie W, who I was going to call Ralph U again. I keep getting his name muddled up. Ralphie W, who's probably here tonight, if not, he always catches up later. He, sorry, I'm mixing paint while I'm talking. He That's had great. never, he hadn't drawn since he was about 11. And then he started to draw in lockdown. And then we launched the good ship and he got his place. And now he's just drawing every day. He's drawing all the time. He's learning to do printmaking. And actually, Michael Welly, I heard you read out Michael Weller's name at the beginning. Do you know that that's Rick's brother? His brother, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so they've got, we've got the brothers both joining an art club and doing all the good ship stuff. It's amazing. Yeah. Amber says, how do we join the course? So it's not open yet, Amber. So we only open the doors for a short amount of time, sort of enrol everybody. Um, and then we wait a few months and we do it again. But the... It's next Friday, so at Art Club next week we'll open the doors and we'll put a link in our profile and we'll do a swipe up and stuff so you'll be able to 
join that way. And if you're really worried that you'll miss it, say you can't make Art Club next week and you're worried that you'll miss it, you can sign up for our newsletter tonight. So if you go on our um, website, you can just sign up for the newsletter and then we honestly won't let you miss it because we'll shout about it all the time, won't we? A whole week of going, excuse me! <laughs> 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 Ralph's drawing on his lovely they are Martha yeah they're brilliant he's a homeopath and so he's used his drawings on his homeopathy website which makes it look completely different to all the other alternative therapies and homeopathy therapy websites that you see it's brilliant isn't it it's the coolest the coolest yeah, yeah. well should we do another drawing let's do it I'm going to readjust my camera without falling down. Oh, there you go. Stay. Right. What about a four minutes? Four, four minutes. minutes. Yeah, okay. I'm going to try an abrasive sponge. Woohoo! Are you oh. dipping it? Or has it got ink in the handle? I'm going to dip it. Mm -hmm. and right, I might are you ready? Ink as well. Yes, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> okay, go. Four minutes. Four minutes. It feels good printing this elephant because he's furry, so the texture is really good for his fur. Are you getting that fluffiness? Yeah. Ooh. This is exciting. That's a good noise. I think I'm mm -hmm. making art for the home. <laughs> I had an Instagram reel come up and somebody was painting with a mop. I was like, that'd be a good art club week. Oh yeah. Imagine. That'd be good. Onto a huge piece of paper, like as big as a room. Yeah, yeah, and she was like smooshing it around in circles, and then it had loads of pictures of people with that art in their house. Wow. Cool. So if I get bored of live illustrating, I might just start doing that instead. Sounds like the way to go. I've got a backup plan. <laughs> Wow, that sounds nice. It's very pleasing. It reminds me a little bit of, um, you know, Francis Bacon when he draws the scary faces with like the people that are sort of blurry. Yeah. It makes it, it doesn't look like that, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he, maybe he uses a, an Asda sponge. That's what it is. Is he dead? Yeah, I think when I said is, yeah, I'm sure he is. We could ask him. <laughs> Get him on our club as a special guest. <laughs> Ooh, this is, this is really nice. I feel like I've got in the hang a little bit now. I still feel like I'm not, but that's okay. My tiny, tiny bit of sponge is very useful for when I've got everything else down on paper. It's very nice. Are you putting like the background down? Um, I've got down sort of blocks and then I'm using the black sponge to make the eye, and the black stripes on his top. Oh, that's a good idea. It's so nice just to not be drawing on an iPad, to be honest. Have you been drawing on your iPad all day today? All day. Oh, have you? 
it was not nice by the end, but I survived. Yeah. When you've been on an iPad for a long time, do you start to feel like a bit wuzzy? Um, Maybe you don't get that. No, I don't think I do, but um, Cameron feels a bit sick if he's on his phone too much. Me too. I start to feel a, like a bit classic. Yeah, keep it. There we are, timer. Ow! <laughs> I'm just choosing to ignore you. <laughs> Look at yours. Have you drawn, is that a glass of wine? Um, it's a globe, but it's sort of... Oh. <laughs> oh, that is lovely, isn't it? Aren't the marks nice? It looks like um, it looks like one of those fans in the summer whizzing round really fast. Yeah, it does a bit. There's my elephant. Oh, his stripy shirt. <laughs> I love him. But people be asking questions. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, I think Tanya has an answer in them. That's good. Thank you, Tanya. Oh, yeah, Somebody's saying they're starting to illustrate a sketch uh, children's book by hand. I wonder if that's the question about by hand or digital because last night I joined in on one of the Orange Beak Zoom calls oh, and um, they were interviewed, well wasn't it? Yeah it was part interview, part talk by Nadia Shireen and there were loads of good shit people there I could see everybody in the in all the little windows on Zoom and um, yeah people were asking do you have to be totally digital to do kids books or can you draw by hand and she said what we always say that um it's just a tool yeah it's just a tool you can either use that tool or not use that tool it doesn't matter that's so true it's just like a step yeah. in getting from your brain into the into the world yeah yeah and she said she knows very she does work digitally but she's never been trained so she only has a very small range of things that she can do but she does those things in a way that works really well for her work, which was really interesting because her work's full of personality. It's so brilliant, but yet she's only learnt this tiny little selection of few things that she does and she just uses those. That's like her signature. Yeah, yeah. Such a good way to do it though, because there's no point learning everything on an iPad or in Photoshop because it's all like most of it's rubbish anyway, isn't it? Yeah, most of it's irrelevant. You really don't need to know a lot. Yeah. Mm. We'll see. Him. No, there's Pippa yeah. Alice was there last night. She says Nadia's talk was so good. It really was. I hope we can get her on the good ship, Katie. I really hope we can get her because she was so good and she was so honest and she just so, told us all the behind the scenes stuff. It was really interesting. She was talking about how her life is so mixed up with her illustration work. And so, so when things go wrong in her illustration work, like they do for all of us sometimes, it's really hard to untangle it all. And you know, when life is chaotic, she's got a little boy and he's homeschooling, like she's trying to juggle making books sitting on the bed beside him whilst entertaining him at the same time. I got it. It's incredible. Yeah. I even imagine, if, yeah, the homeschooling thing would be hard. Any yeah. time when you're illustrating a children's book at the same time. Yeah, and he's just little. I'm lucky because Pi kind of looks after herself. She's nearly 13. But, she, but uh, Nadia's little boy, is, I think he's maybe eight. I'm not sure. He's quite little anyway. So, yeah, that must be a whole different ball game. Somebody, they're saying, can someone tag her Instagram account? She's called Nadia Shireen. And, it, and I think that is her Instagram account. Shireen is S-H-I-R-E-E-N. Yeah, that blog post you sent was really good with the questions. That, what was that? Uh, there's a... Was it a blog post that she did? And she'd asked, answered questions and things and it was yeah. on a book. Yeah, yeah. It was on Book Trust website, wasn't it? The one. Yeah. No, she was brilliant. Really, really open. She'd be perfect for one of... Because we, um, on the Good Ship course, we do interviews with people, don't we? So we've got some star guests, like we've got um, Chris Horton, who does children's books. We've got Johnny Hanna. Who else have we got? We've got the printed peanut. Yes. Uh, Marion Dukas. Yes. Uh, yeah, we've yes. got some really good sketchbookers as well, not just illustrators, but sketchbookers. Yeah. Um, yes, not a children's book illustrator, don't panic. It's not just no. for children's book people, but we do have some children's book people too. 
Yeah, we're we're about to design a children's book course as well. I'm not sure when that will come out, but we're going to get to that in the next few months, aren't we? Yeah, we're pl yeah. blocking, making exciting new courses. Yeah. Helen's got loads of ideas. Hey, <laughs> I just can't wait to do a picture book one. It'd be so brilliant. And all the people that we can ask. My publisher has said that they'll be involved and there's lots. Oh, I just can't wait to get started. It's going to be brilliant. Going to be so good. Oh, somebody there is admiring Jerry's beautiful sketchbooks. That's my partner, Jerry. He's a natural history illustrator and he's got a talk in the course as well. It's really great, isn't it? It's so good. I love his new book that just came out as well. I was like, <gasps> Oh, we're so beautiful. It. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. And part it's partly so good because we went to Iceland as a family to research that book. And so now it's like this permanent published memento of our trip to Iceland. Yeah, it's <laughs> incredible. Travel diary that's actually a published book. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Anyway, we're supposed to be drawing, aren't we? Drawing. Uh, let's try some brown. What about a six minute? Yes, a nice long yeah. six It's already yeah. over, I think past half past, has that happened? No way. How did that happen? Oh. Oh. Right, okay, are you ready? Uh, Go. Wait. I remember when I left art school, I had no idea who I was, what my artistic voice was. I learned so much at art school, it was brilliant. We did lots and lots of sketchbooking, which was a really good, you know, um, groundwork for being an illustrator, but I had no idea, like, who I was and what I wanted to do. Did you? Absolutely not. <laughs> and oh. then, so, cause, yeah, because you get all this information and things about being creative and answering briefs oh well oh, when I was at uni we did anyway and then they sort of you were like released into the wild like good luck yeah and you're so young aren't you and it's so hard to know and because you're so desperate to get work as an artist or an illustrator you feel as if if you did a bit of everything you would please everybody and therefore you'd get loads of work and actually the truth is the opposite isn't it so, so if you know who you are and you really narrow down who you are you're way more likely to get work because people will trust that you know who you are. And then they know exactly what you do as well, like when they come to search for what they want or they want to, if they're looking at yeah. your website, it's just like abundantly clear that you do this thing. Exactly. But yeah, it was the same. I remember like I would do posters for people and like CD covers and yeah. just absolutely anything. Yeah. I didn't want to exclude anybody or turn anything down. Which I, I suppose it's sort of it's got its own value in a way. But I just kind of felt very lost. Yeah. I think it's quite common that, isn't it? Yeah. I started to illustrate kids' books before I really knew who I was. Yeah. And it was great because it was a really, really good apprenticeship. It was brilliant just working on the job and learning it as I went. But at the same time, it meant that I was kind of manipulated by publishers and ended up more lost. After a while, I was even more lost than when I first started because I just took so much advice on board that I just didn't know who I was. And I just had to take a break from it and go and explore that for myself and work it out and then come back. And then when I did come back, more certain that I was doing something that I enjoyed now and it felt like me and I didn't have to worry about that anymore. I just got so much more work. People seem to just recognise that something had happened. Yeah. Because you were successful before you took your break, weren't you? But it was like the work wasn't... Yeah. I already had books, loads of books out. And then I took this break just to work things out. Because I feel as if I just got sort of pulled along in the direction that, that everybody wanted me to go in. And it was getting further and further away from my sketchbooks. And my sketchbooks was always what I liked doing. It's always been the thing I love above everything. And the work was starting to not really look like it does naturally and like it does in my sketchbooks. And so I had to sort of reset. It's the best thing I ever did. I'm really, really glad I did it, although it was really worrying at the time. Yeah, it must be scary just kind of 
stepping back. Yeah, because you don't know whether everybody's going to like it when you come back. <laughs> it's quite a brave thing to do as well, especially in like society that we live in. Taking a break. Yeah. Do I actually want to do this? It's such a. Yeah. It's, I don't think everybody does that because people just get swept along and yeah get a job or they get into a style of working and they're like oh well this is what I do now like I can't change it now do you know what though it seems like a good time to do it now because everybody's had to rethink their jobs and rethink their situations because of lockdown and everything that's going on in the world I think loads of people have come back to their creative side again and, and realized that now's probably a good time to fix that Definitely. And like, there's never going to actually be a good time. Like, yeah. This one, it's like when everybody's at home, locked down or still yeah. in, the, in the recession, not the recession, the COVID times. Yeah. Because yeah, the, the first time we launched the course, it was the first wave of the lockdown. It was. We couldn't decide whether to launch or not, could we? Yeah, we I didn't know whether it was the right thing. Oh, do this. Is anybody going to want to take a course right now? But we knew you. We had your mum on board because your mum had asked for a VIP ticket before we even set sail. So we knew we had your mum, didn't we? Yeah. Well, at least, at least mum will be there. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we need, really, for a successful life. <laughs> my mother she is obliged to like it she has to like it yeah she can't give us a bad review we better not ask her for a review in case it is a bad review <laughs> yeah, i don't think i could cope for it <laughs> <laughs> emotionally strong enough <laughs> <laughs> And a very scary swan. We've got six seconds left and I haven't finished my elephant. The elephant. Ah. Ah. I got his eye. I managed his eye. Well done. He's a very I'm getting sort of eighties vibes. Eighties eighties vibes. It's the pineapple that does it. A pineapple and a swan. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> Ooh, it's very the kitsch. There's oh. my there's my sailor, my doll, and the the elephant would be here, but I didn't get round to his top. Does the doll have a safety helmet on? <laughs> no, that's just my drawing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean the doll? I was thinking you meant your sailor. No, no. Oh, yes, she does actually. I knitted it for her when Pi was little. It's a it's a little knitted helmet thing. Yes. Yeah. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Baby's like this when you're holding it like ah. <laughs> <laughs> Pineapples are a little I agree, Tanya. They're sort of that trendiness, aren't they? Yeah, they are, they are, yeah. Have you got filthy mucky hands? Yeah. Good. Oh, green. It's a good it's... job we've got running water, otherwise I'd just have to go to bed like this. <laughs> <laughs> How is the gouache acrylic going? Acrylic gouache? Gouache. Um, it's very nice to work with. I can't decide if it feels more gouache -y or acrylic -y. I think I'm going to pick up a piece that's dried and see what it's like. Hang on. The, the jury's still out. Well... It well. looks chalky and it smells more chalky than it does when it's wet. It hasn't dried shiny like acrylic. Mm. Mm. I wonder what happens. So if you let acrylic dry and then you put water on it, it would stay where it is. Oh, maybe. So the... what are we... I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick a drawing I don't like, and I'm gonna try and smudge it with water. Right, <laughs> It smudges with water like it's, gouache. So it absolutely, it's, like, it, it's just gouache, then, isn't it? Yeah, because it doesn't dry shiny and it's not waterproof. It's gouache. Looks Weird. Like, I don't. 
smells like gouache. Acts like gouache. <laughs> Acrylic. Fairly strange. Acrylic gouache. Mm. The pigments are really nice though. Look at that lovely pink. Oh, so pink. Is that the pink think... that Tanya was talking about? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I've ordered fluorescent. I didn't remember that. It took so long to arrive. I couldn't remember what I'd ordered, but they're both wow. fluorescent. So yeah, they're coloured. The mm. Jersey says, is it just me or are others feeling like their sketches are worse the longer the timer? <laughs> <laughs> that happens. That definitely happens. Has he got longer to ruin it? <laughs> this is the brilliant thing about art club is that if you're a bit of a perfectionist and you think you work on your work too long, this just, you cannot be a perfectionist when you do this. You've just got to do it. Yeah. They slap you about and then you've got to get it done. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. We've got 20 minutes left. 20 minutes. I want to do a little Should we do, bit. Should we do um, a three minute? Yeah, let's do a three minute. Sounds good to that me. That looks so good sitting on the floor like that. It's very refreshing. Yeah, I wish I had a big piece of paper on the floor. I might join you on the floor next week. Yeah, I'll probably be on a table next week and then I'll be jealous of you. You'll be up the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready? Uh, ready. Go. Go, it's going. Right. <laughs> Very relaxing. It is, isn't it? Got seven seconds left. Oh. <laughs> ah. That seven seconds is such a nice time to ruin it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> it's a bit wet. I might end up liking this one. I can't quite decide. I kind of like how loose it is. I just. 
I used the sponge as a brush quite a bit, just pushed it around the page. Oh, I like that. It's very loose, isn't it? Yeah. It's got a print, like it's been like screen printed because the colours are all separate. It's got a sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, Let's see yours. It's my globe. It's very wet. I think it might look interesting when it dries. Is that the um, ink in the handle? Um, yes. Yeah. In hand. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, so How did you get the little thin lines? Is that just the edge of the sponge? Well, that was me cheating and I used my Maggie Hambling ink. Ah, nice. Channel, channeling my inner Maggie. So I've almost run out of some of my colours, but that's good because now I'm going to start, I'll have to just use weird colours now. That's always, I like it when we get to art club and things start to disintegrate. Yes. That's when the exciting stuff happens. Got to use the brown. <laughs> yeah. Tanya said um, that your monkey Helen looks like her favourite Paula Regal painting. My monkey? Did you have a monkey? I've got an elephant. Maybe my drawing looks like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> oh, but it's a massive compliment being kept compared to Paula Regal though, isn't it? Whatever. <laughs> mm. Definitely. I'm very scared. I thought it was Tuesday. I'm pretty sure I went into a... Oh, it's a win. I win! I'm pretty sure I went into a parallel universe in which it's Friday. <laughs> oh, it's nice to have Wynne here. Wynne's the growl. Wynne is 11 years old and a big fan of Art Club. And sometimes I get to see her drawings after because she lives on our street. And when she does, I manage to sneak a photo onto Instagram to show everybody. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, another... What for... Yeah, we've got time for another. Yeah, maybe a couple more. Twelve whole minutes. Woohoo! Right, should we do a four minute? Yeah, that's a good idea. Four minutes is that's a nice amount. Okay. Let you get comfy first. Thank you. Bomb shuffle. Okay. <laughs> Go. <laughs> what am I doing? Ah, oh, Tanya's saying that my drawing looks like monkey dad on rabbit telling her parents she is pregnant i think i know those that series i think i can picture the series that's in oh that sounds very cultured it, it's not as cultured as it sounds probably You do get some good textures with the sponge, must say. Yeah, I'm really enjoying mixing up, just pushing it around. Yeah. As well as as well as printing with it, it's really nice. I'm gonna draw Henry the Hoover. <laughs> Other Hoovers are available. <laughs>
can do a 10 second animal with a sponge. Oh, yeah. I think it'll work. Well, it doesn't matter if it doesn't, to be honest. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> This may be my finest work yet, this portrait of Henry Hoover. Look at that. That's brilliant. It looks a bit like, um, like, a, like a flump wearing a tammy shanter or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, for me. Wearing a tammy shanter. <laughs> See how much time we've got left. Oh, 18 seconds, 18 seconds left. Uh oh. 18 seconds. <sighs> we made it. I'm not going to touch it because I'll upset him. There we are. Time, gentlemen. I'm pretending it hasn't happened. Are you ignoring that? Second? There we are. I've stopped. I've stopped. I've stopped. Look at that. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's Tama Shanta. That's got so much personality. That's brilliant. <laughs> There's my gang. <laughs> my sailor is. He looks quite. He looks like he's not clean shaven anymore. Now. Yes, that looks big stubbly beard. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Love them. So good. So we've got eight minutes left. Dun, dun, dun. I tell you we've what. got time for another drawing before our 10 second animal then. We have. I need some to squirt some more paint out. I've run out of paint. Oh, I was going to say, do you want some of mine? Do you want some of mine? <laughs> I love the yellow. I haven't used the yellow yet. So when are you going to have your stove fitted or, or is it in and you just haven't moved all your furniture back in? In, but we just haven't moved the furniture back. So we need the plaster to dry out and then we're going to paint everything. Um, oh. And then we'll reassemble the room. Brilliant. So we'll probably That's be exciting. The house, it's not a very dry house. <laughs> so it'll take ages to dry out. But Yeah. Ew. I was just the same. I think all Lord Berwick houses are like that, aren't they? They're built yeah. of such thick. I think it is it called. It's got a certain name. The stone here, Windscale Stone or Wind Something Stone. I've forgotten. I don't know that. Yeah. We needed to have um, a plug put in in the kitchen, so we had to have a a, a drill, a hole put through from the sitting room to the kitchen, and the wall is like. Oh, oh two and a half feet feet thick. Really? It took the whole afternoon, and the two guys doing it kept taking turns. They both <laughs> took their tops off because they were so hot trying to get through this wall. <laughs> the whole afternoon with these big long drill bits, it was bonkers. It took forever, and then we were charged a fortune because it's like an afternoon's work to drill a hole through a wall. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, our, our house is the same. Like the window sills are like that thick. So that's yeah, mad. Yeah. It's good. Livingston Onion says, do we set up our own things to draw? Yes. Yeah. So the only rule at Art Club is we don't draw from memory. We draw something in front of us. So you can do whatever you like. Draw your room, the people in your room. Yeah, you don't have to like set up a still life. You can just draw random things around. Yeah. I usually put a few objects on my desk. Because yeah. I don't usually... Yeah, sometimes... For... Yeah, I have drawn Pi when she's in the room sometimes, haven't I? Oh, yeah. If she sits still for long enough. Yeah. I've, I just grab things before art club. Yeah. <laughs> We've got, Should we do oh, another one? Yeah, let's do another quick one. Have you seen my nice screensaver? What is it? Oh, amazing. Oh, it doesn't show up very well on here because it's red, not orange. It's... um. She's called Mog Shop on, Illust on, on Instagram, I think. And she did our, I think she did our course. I'm pretty sure she did. I think she did her first. I don't know, but, pardon? 
I think she did because I follow her as well. Yeah, and I bought a really beautiful piece of artwork off from her before she did the course. Her work is lovely, so lovely. Anyway, that was her screensaver that she had the other day. You just nice. had to grab it from her stories. It's so lovely. Anyway, shall we do? Uh, should we do a quick two-minute one so we've got time for animals? Yes. Okay. Good. Go. Two minutes. Two. And Stevens, that timer is off. <laughs> Nobody can see. Oh. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, okay, I give up. Yeah. I'll stop. <laughs> that was good. I enjoyed that one. It was a nice last chance saloon, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, hang on, let's. I don't want to drop my phone again. Oh. One mega, mega daffodil. One mega daffodil. Oh, I've got leg cramp. <laughs> <laughs> Too big to show you. <laughs> <laughs> really close. <Brilliant. laughs> there we go. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. Very nice. Let's see yours. Oh, look at them. Splodgy goodness. <laughs> like when you splodged an elephant's head. They're all over the floor. They look so nice. I don't have my glasses on, but. In the sort of blurry vision, they're looking really nice, I think. <laughs> you don't need glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Tanya says, oh, post me a daff on Insta. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, you need to. That's got to fill up a whole square, that daffodil. I feel like somebody's going to find all these paintings and things when I die and be like, what was going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Joy Abbott. Joy Abbott did the most amazing drawing in the snow and I featured it on Walk to Sea last weekend. Did you see it? It's of some houses, some sort of edges of some flats and then a street going into the distance with snow, everything, and there's a couple of cars stranded in the snow. Amazing. You know when you get oh, jealousy, you get jealousy of, oh, I wish I'd drawn that. I got that. Oh, that's good. That's a good so sign. Good. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> Natasha Reedy says, that's what I think all the time. <laughs> Is that about people finding your work after we've died? <laughs> <laughs> Shall we do a quick 10 second animal? 10 second animal. 10 seconds to drop. All right, okay, I'll get the clock ready. Okay. Clock. I'm going to do my 10 second animal. Are you using a sponge? 
I am? Well then, me too. Okay, can you see the screen to shout an animal out? Yes. Okay, go for it. Do my best good eyesight face. Shout out your animals, everyone. You see Put some animals in the comments and then Katie will shout one out. I'll press the timer for 10 seconds. Before you've got a chance to Google or anything, you've got to get your animal down on a piece of paper. Well, there's a good one. Are you ready, Helen? Yeah, I'm ready. Bat. Let's start. Oh, no, I just put my black paint away and got out the pink. Oh. That's not a good start, is it? Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> look at that, it's brilliant. It looks like a phoenix. <laughs> phoenix rising. Oh, that's like all cute. Amazing. <laughs> He's I did it with a sad mouth, but what I was trying to do, and I think maybe I got the wrong way up. Do they sometimes have vampire bats have teeth? Yeah, they're supposed to be vampire, vampire bat teeth. But uh. It's sad. Looks like a sad face. So he's not disgruntled, he's just a vampire bat. Mm. <laughs> Three bats. Oh, look, Wins suggesting wild anime boy. Oh, would have been a good one. <laughs> she's she's really that one. into drawing her anime, she's so good at it. Cool. Mm. Well, that's us, isn't it? All done for that's the day. It. Oh, it flies by too fast. It goes so fast. I feel like I need a bath now because I'm so painted. <laughs> yeah, me but. too. Showing off about your plumbing again, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the plug and let all that water run away. No <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Helen. I might even do a wee while you're there. <laughs> <laughs> might just flush it twice for a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. oh, look at all the love hearts coming up. Oh. Talk about hashtags. If you share your... Um, Printy painting sponge work from tonight. These are hashtag, hashtag good ship illo, and then we can see what you do. And then we've got uh, Art Club Aftermath. Take a picture of all the mess on your desk so we can see that. I think I'm going to take a picture of everything on the floor. Look at this mess. So much. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, aftermath. So yeah, post that. And then next week at Art Club, we're going to open the doors to the course. So that'll be very exciting. <laughs> can't wait for that. I can never draw. I'm so excited. I just can't draw. We get all good. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. Okay, so see you next week. Yeah, see you next week. Bye, Tanya. Bye, Katie. Bye, Tanya.